Hello folks, welcome to another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Era of the Passenger Liner. Now as far as ocean liner books go, this is probably one of the more rarer copies. This book came out in 1990, around 19, it stopped around 1992. So if you are looking to buy this book, it's on the more rarer sides. This is essentially a ocean liner catalogue, and I'll explain what that is in the inside in a second, with over 280 photographs of various ocean liners from various companies all across history. Beautiful photo of Mauritania there, by the way. Um, it is hardback, and you can only get it in hardback, which is a plus. It does come with a nice cover as well. Sometimes, though, you might find it loose, like this. Um, but I got mine with the cover on it. And it is pretty old. I have noticed a lot of the information, some of not a lot of it, but just some of it, especially involving Titanic. And Titanic does show up in this book. It is on the more outdated side. Not by much, but just slightly outdated. This came with the book. It looks lovely. Um, this does not come with the book. If you do buy this book, this doesn't come with it. This just came with my copy, so yeah, we might as well just leave it out of the review. Um, that's probably the original pricing. That's the very original pricing. I bought mine for about 15 euros, roughly, including shipping, so yeah, there's, I don't know, this, the person I bought this off just included loads of stuff with it, so yeah, very strange. Here's the catalogue of uh, various companies all across the world. One thing to note, though, is that if you are interested in White Star, this only includes ships built after the International Mercantile Marine Company. So you won't be seeing like the original Oceanic or the Baltic or the Cedric in this in this um, in this book. So we have the Titanic here as an example. And it'll also tell you the company. Sometimes it will tell you the industry or the company with it. Sometimes it won't. It tells you some information and just a very brief segment. And obviously an original photograph of the ship. Um, there's plenty of ships in this book that I've just never even heard of. Of course you have your Berengaria and you know your Britannic too. But then there's some other ones that I've just never really never really heard of before. You know, So if you're an ocean liner enthusiast this is definitely a book to pick up. Like I said though be wary. It is on the more rarer side when it comes to books. So... It's not impossible to get this book, but it is on the more expensive side. I'm not going to show you everything. Um, but yes, do heed the warnings. If you're interested in ships before 1912, 1911, um, or 1910, they won't be, be in this book. There is small exceptions, but not by many. If there are ships in this book that were built before 1910, they're usually listed under another company name. So, for example, I think there's... Um, I don't know what ship exactly, yeah, here, here exactly, there's a ship made in 1903, but because it's not under the original company name, it's only when it was acquired. That's just the original construction. Um, yeah, yeah, there is that. There is that to know it. It's a fantastic book, very high quality, and one I'd recommend any ship enthusiast to buy. Hopefully you enjoyed this small little review. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.